Some topics I'll be talking about in today's video are about Tom Hanks and his connection with the Mandela Effect, as well as his connection with the name Wilson. We'll get to that a little bit later, but I want to talk about the number 666 for now. The first, a quick clip from the Tom Hanks presentation from the show From the Earth to the Moon. John F. Kennedy brashly vowed to send a man to the moon and return him safely long before it was known to be possible. Now, Tom Hanks was just talking about John F. Kennedy. The name Kennedy equals 666, reverse Sumerian. And why do I have Kennedy's numbers next to the picture of Nelson Mandela? Well, instead we're going to talk about the Mandela effect. And, um, of course the prison number associated with Mandela could remind you of 666. But anyways, Kennedy has to do with NASA, Kennedy Space Center, Earth to the Moon. Imagine what problems we could solve and the ills that we could cure if we chose to live the same way the people of Apollo did. Now we can get a 666 gematria value with the name Apollo, but that's using the Fibonacci cipher that you probably won't find on a calculator. I'll leave some links in the description box where we talk about this cipher. Here's something. Do a YouTube search for the Burbs 666. B U R B S 666. It's a Tom Hanks film from a long time ago, so there's that 666 scene, but also look up the Burbs nightmare scene. Watch till the end. And you'll understand why by the end of this video. But like I said, Apollo equals 666 using the Fibonacci cipher. Of course, Tom Hanks was in the movie Apollo 13. And he was also heavily involved with the TV miniseries from the Earth to the Moon that had a lot to do with the Apollo program. Now the NASA Apollo program had a lot to do with the Moon, heavily focused on the Moon, but as you may know the name Apollo is associated with the Sun. And we can connect NASA and the sun to the number 666. For instance, the full name of NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, those words sum to 666 using the reverse ordinal cipher of Gematria. And then we have the planetary magic square of the sun, which has connection with 666. See, every row and the columns, diagonals, they all sum to the same number, 111. But if you add all the numbers together, 666. So you see the magic square of the sun connects with 666. The sun connects with the name Apollo, and Apollo equals 666 using the Fibonacci cipher as seen on screen here. John F. Kennedy brashly vowed to send a man to the moon to return him safely long before it was known to be possible. Soon I want to talk specifically about Apollo 13 and a quote from the movie Apollo 13. But for now, let's, let's talk about Kennedy for a second. Um, as we're told, the Apollo missions were launched from the Kennedy Space Center. Remember, the name Kennedy equals 666, reverse Sumerian. And again, I have this next to a picture of Mandela. The Kennedy assassination is known to be a Mandela effect. Another Mandela effect, or ME, as they say. Another ME is from Apollo 13, where he says, Houston, we have a problem. Well, real quick, let's just listen to Tom Hanks' speech, where... He won his first Emmy Award. Thousands upon thousands of years. Imagine what problems we could solve and the ills that we could cure 
if we chose to live the same way the people of Apollo did in the 1960s. Thank you, and God bless America. All right, so let's talk about some Mandel effects, or MEs. On the screen, you can see a few that are connected to Tom Hanks. We we already talked about uh, Apollo 13's Houston, We Have a Problem. The movie Apollo 13 was supposedly based on a true story. And there's audio of an astronaut saying something similar to what Tom Hanks says. And a lot of us know the line. He says, Houston, we have a problem. But the, if you listen to the NASA official audio, it's something slightly different. And I'm not going to get into it much, but it's a little bit different. And I, that could be where some of the confusion lies. Some people think that the Mandela effect is the work of physicists working at CERN. Some some people think it's supernatural. It's um, the work of angels or demons. Some people think it's a big old psyop. It's just games that Hollywood's playing. People like Tom Hanks should get their lines correct. I'm not here to tell you what to think about the Mandela effect or anything else. Just presenting some observations. So let's talk about this other effect connected with Tom Hanks in the movie Forrest Gump where many people would try to emulate the voice of Forrest Gump and say that big line that everybody knows mama always said life is like a box of chocolates as most people would quote it like that and that line as I said it was never in the movie exactly as I said it. Tom Hanks, as Forrest Gump said life, Mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. At least that's, if you go back and watch the movie, that's what it says. The person who said life is like a box of chocolates was Forrest Gump's mother, played by Sally Field, which is another Mandela effect in itself here. I've asked a lot of people about this. Well, most people seem to agree that they remember her as Sally Fields. And if you look now, there's no S at the end of her name, so it's Sally Field. So anyway, that's just a couple of Mandela effects connected with the Tom Hanks movie. Now, Tom Hanks would go on to star in the movie A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. It's a Mr. Rogers movie. Now, there was a Mr. Rogers Mandela effect long before Tom Hanks was announced as Fred Rogers. This was a big one for me, and everybody I know who I've asked about this all agree on the same memory. The beginning of the Mr. Rogers song he says, It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Well, that's not what you can hear now if you go back and listen to the show. Even watch the official trailer for the Tom Hanks movie titled A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. If you listen closely, you'll hear, It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. What adds to the confusion is the title of the movie. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. I'll leave a link for the official trailer, but if you watch till the end, there's some children singing to him, and they sing it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, like everybody else seems to remember. And what's funny about that particular Mandela effect, the Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers, is that in the movie The Burbs, which I mentioned earlier with the 666 scene, if you do a YouTube search for The Burbs nightmare scene, you'll see 
Tom Hanks on a barbecue grill. Even the word barbecue is a Mandela effect for some people. So maybe there's something there. But yeah, his wife, um, Carrie Fisher, otherwise known as Princess Leia. That might mean something to some. But yeah, he's on the barbecue grill. And I'll just show you real quick. His wife, in a spooky voice, says, Ray, it was nice of you to invite the new neighbors over for a barbecue, Ray. And then you see Tom Hanks as Ray on the big old barbecue grill. It's this real creepy satanic dream that he's having. In the DVD it's called Devil Dreams, for whatever that's worth. So then you, you see this satanic looking neighbor saying, mind your own business. He says, okay, and then he wakes up. And the TV was off when he fell asleep, but then look what's on the TV now, Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And, of course, many years later, should I say decades later, Tom Hank would go on to star as Mr. Rogers, singing the same exact song. Anyway, it's pretty creepy, especially considering... All the 666s. Six, six, Tom Hanks was in that movie, Angels and Demons. Of course, CERN was a big part of that movie. And um, yeah, some folks link the Mandela effect with CERN. They say something along the lines of they were firing up the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, and Yada yada yada. I'm not going to get into all that, but it's just funny that CERN is connected here. And Tom Hanks is in this movie with CERN. Oh, and something I read, and I, of course, I have no way to verify this, but uh, they were saying that Tom Hanks was invited to fire up the LHC at CERN. I don't think it actually happened, but remember, we're connecting this all to. Mandela, okay. Supposedly the Mandela effect was named because many people remember that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the 80s. Of course, most people, if not everybody I know and asked, remembered him going on to become president. But speaking of presidents, when Mel Mandela was born in the year 1918, the person who was president of the United States was Woodrow Wilson. Again, his name's Wilson. And remember, uh, Tom Hanks is connected with the name Wilson in a few different ways. Of course, his wife's name is Rita Wilson. He was in a movie called Charlie Wilson's War where he played... Charlie Wilson in the movie Castaway his only companion when he was stranded on the island was a volleyball named Wilson and one of his first televised roles in Bosom Buddies he played Kip Wilson who cross-dressed as Buffy Wilson And once again, Woodrow Wilson was president when Mandela was born.